वेलकम टू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट न्यूज़ ट्वेंटी फोर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर कवरेज ऑफ द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन ईस्टर्न कॉन्गो वी हैव लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स अपडेट्स फॉर यू फर्स्टली मेजर विली नगोमा मिलिट्री स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ एम ट्वेंटी थ्री फाइटर्स वॉन्ड कैनिया इन एन इंटरव्यू अ फ्यू आवर्स ओगो वट डिड ही से Kenya is about to deploy its troops to eastern Congo what did major willy say what is his message for kenya secondly a video of major willy is being shared the video is from kivanja the town which was taken by m23 a few days ago two days ago a congolese air force conducted air strikes on m23 positions and after that it was claimed that uh, after the strikes uh, m23 fighters had lost control of uh, uh, kivanja that is why this video was shared by m23 from kivanja and thirdly m23 march 23 movement fighters uh, have announced to go to goma city to reach the place from where air strikes are being conducted secondly a look at mediation efforts to resolve the conflict uh, angola's uh, of foreign minister is in congo and on the 16th of november in kenya talks going to start and lastly uh, m23 are not only advancing in a southern direction from rutshoro towards rogari but also in a northern direction they have captured a town on ugandan border just 4 kilometers away from uh, a place uh, called kisaro uh, kisaro is to the north of kivanja north of ratshoro so in two directions they are trying to take control of as many territories as possible Firstly, viewers, uh, M23 March 23 movement opposition Congolese armed group has warned Kenya that if Kenyan troops uh, confronted M23 fighters, M23 would fire back. M23 fighters would not hold uh, their fire if. Kenyan troops try to engage uh, the M23 fighters in eastern Congo it's a warning it's a threat from M23 Kenya uh, but 3 days ago 3 to 4 days ago announced to deploy its troops to eastern Congo and uh, some Kenyan military officers have arrived in Goma city they are in talks with uh, uh, uh drc uh, army officers for deployment of kenyan military but so far kdf has not deployed its troops uh, to fight uh, m23 fighters talks are underway uh, and some uh, kenyan troops have arrived in goma but so far no direct engagement between m23 and kenyan troops uh, M twenty three's Major Willie Nagoma, who is spokesperson of uh, this arm group, uh, a few hours ago gave an interview to a Kenyan news source, and he clearly said that uh, M twenty three fighters would uh, fire upon Kenyan troops if Kenyan troops uh, intervened in this conflict militarily. so kenya will have to rethink deployment of its troops to eastern congo burundi has its soldiers as well in eastern congo un peacekeeping mission is also operating here but so far engagement is between m23 fighters and government forces and government backed militias uh, so far uh, burundi's soldiers un troops and uh, uh kenyan troops are not directly involved in the fight against uh, uh, m23 so it will be interesting to see kenyan response will kenya press ahead with deployment of its troops to eastern congo or will it try to uh, uh delay the deployment uh, that remains to be seen secondly Major Willy Nagoma spokesperson of M23 shared a video from Kivanja a few hours ago 
Is this a new video or an old one? It's not clear, but two days ago, a Congolese Air Force conducted its strikes on M23 positions in uh, Tichanzo and Ragnoni in Rathshoro. And after that, it was claimed that M23 fighters had lost control of Kivanja and Rathshoro. But the new video, if it is a new video, shows that uh, uh, Major Willy Ngoma was in Kivanja. So Kivanja is still under the control of M23 fighters. While well, this video showing uh, M23 spokesperson Major Willy Ngoma uh, in Kivanja. Thirdly, was after uh, Congolese Air Force's air strikes on uh, M23 positions, M23 fighters have announced to go to the places from where these air strikes are being launched. Now, obviously, the place from where these air strikes are being launched is Goma City. In Goma City, there is Goma Airport, and on Goma Airport, two Su-25, Sihoi-25 uh, fighter jets of Congolese military are deployed. One of these two Sihoi uh, Su-25 fighter jet by mistake landed at a Rwandan airport nearby. Uh, on Rwanda uh, Congo border, I think three days ago. So, two uh, Sihoi uh, Su 25 Congolese uh, fighter jets and gunship uh, helicopters are being used by Congolese military to hit empathy targets uh, in Rathshoro uh, in areas on Rwanda, uh, Congo, Uganda, Congo border, and M23 fighters want to reach the place from where these air strikes are being directed. And the place is Goma. It means that uh, M23 will continue its advance towards Goma. Uh, they are 30 kilometers away from Goma near Rogari. And uh, they cannot hit Goma from Rogari. They don't have uh, long range weapons. So they'll try to continue ground offensive towards Goma. Or they might uh, use some groups near or in Goma to attack Goma airport. Secondly, the mediation efforts continue to resolve the crisis in eastern Congo. Angola's foreign minister has arrived in Congo. He was in Goma city as well. Reportedly, he held a meeting with the uh, Congolese uh, top officials. Uh, Angola is hosting... Uh, Rwandan and uh, Congo leaders. Uh, three days ago, Congolese and Rwandan foreign ministers were in Angola. Talks were held there. Several parallel peace initiatives are ongoing. Luanda, a peace initiative from Angola. Nairobi, peace initiative from Kenya. And Bojumbura, peace initiative from uh, Burundi are underway, uh, but so far no signs of any uh, considerable uh, progress. On the 16th of November, talks are due to be held in Nairobi, Kenya, uh, with participation of East Africa community countries. Will M23 fighters be invited to uh, November 16 talks? It's not clear. Congo is opposing the participation of M23 fighters in uh, talks due to be held in Nairobi, Kenya. Congo wants M23 fighters to withdraw, to uh, retreat from the areas under their control before their participation in talks. Without the participation of uh, M23, uh, what is the future of peace process going to start in Nairobi? Another point. And secondly, if Kenyan deploys its troops to Eastern Congo, and if Kenyan troops directly engage M23 fighters, will M23 fighters uh, attend talks in Kenya? I think Kenya will not deploy its troops to Congo in direct combat readiness position before the start of talks.
talks will be held in Nairobi, Kenya. Maybe M23 could be there, though no confirmation. If talks fail, then we could see deployment of Kenyan troops in eastern Congo uh, to stop uh, M23 fighters advance towards uh, Goma city. And lastly, viewers, uh, M23 are advancing in two directions. Their main push is towards Goma. They have captured Kivanja, Ratshoro, Rugari. Uh, they are near Rugari, 30 kilometers away from Goma. But in a uh, northern direction as well, they are trying to take control of as many areas as possible. Bunagana was the first town taken by them four months ago on Uganda-Congo border. And reportedly yesterday, they took control of uh, Magwanda. Magwanda is a village four kilometers away from Kisaro. You can see uh, Kisaro on your map, which is situated to the north of uh, Kivanja and Ratshoro. Uh, it is close to the area on uh, Uganda-Congo border. So in two directions, uh, they are advancing. But the main push is towards Goma because there is uh, airport in Goma. Goma is main city in North Kivu and uh, uh, in Goma, massive uh, youth mobilization is underway. Congo's government is recruiting youth in military. Uh, youth volunteers are being prepared to stop M23 fighters. So the main push is towards Goma. But in a northern direction as well, they are making territorial gains on Uganda-Congo border and Rwanda-Congo border. Thank you for watching.